you know, he just takes the fight regardless. Um, and with the Abaddon protection, I don't think you'd... It's hard to kill Arc Warden. I like Iji's think awkward. Uh, and a Baton versus a melee hero, but it looks like he walked away the better of them. Mm. Especially when you get level 2, uh, and you get that level 2 score sir, that is. It's much better top lane, DY. DY getting caught. If they can get this kill, it would be pretty good for EG. That first blood is still uncontested, but Eurus is here, and he's going to try and finish up Abed. The mirror image going out. Abed wants to be able to try and finish up DY before he dies, but he can't get, get it. it. And VG Gaming are the ones to claim first blood. And you can see Arc Warden instantly. Is he going to move? He actually TPs towards the mid lane. Now the problem is, because he did that, Naga will TP on the mid lane too, and OD will go top. Beautiful body blocking here. Ramsey's left alone in this bottom lane. Was expecting just a 1v1, but PYW being here might be able to get the kill to Devour. The two levels of Devour is just giving him too much reach, and the Aphonic Shield will allow them to be able to dive the tower here. PYW, the Miscoil as well. If he can get out of vision, he'll dodge the Aphonic Shield pop. And a lot against that OD, so they switch it up once again. Yeah, we see Ember mid, Dark Warden instantly going back top. But but Crit is having a blast. He's level 4 after oh, this yeah. kill. This should be easy. There are sticks on the UI, but... Arteezy makes sure to take the last hit with the imprisonment. That's also level 4 right there for Crit. <laughs> such a good time. By the way, he started with su such great items. He has Tranquils already, and he bought that Windlays. So even if you're not imprisoned, imprisoned, he will be able to catch you. On mid lane, now they use that. Oh, control. the Amber Spirit still doesn't have his level 6. Crit is here, but underneath the creep wave, they the actually push, push him and get him a little bit closer to Arteezy. With the Avalanche, they should be enough to finish up our tour. Can Yuris get out? A Fairy Fire is going to be enough. Crit has to back away. Man, PYW, this guy, when you give him heroes such as Tiny, such as Elder Titan and Doom, he's always in the right position at the right time to help you out. He doesn't need that mobility and he shines on these beefy boys that you just have to cast one spell or two and take some tower hits. That's all. He gets a kill right there. And they know they just needed a little bit of a helping hand to that Ember Spirit. Then he'll be able to get his level 6. And not only did he walk away from that engagement, he picked up a regen rune. So he's now going to have both his ultimate and full helpful mana. Now PYW cutting across. Ori showing up in his bottom lane to help get the kill onto Ramsey's 3-2. to two. Over Naga will port back bottom and <laughs> he will, they are not allowing Ori to have his game. I think most likely he's the one that suffers from these changes the most because as an Arc Warden, you want to get that level 6 as soon as possible. Not only does it allow you to get higher kill potential, but you farm faster. Right. Also, that level 10 is really important for Arc Warden because of the cooldowns. Oh, trying to get the Doom out. Oh! Jumps away and actually managed to finish off Fly. Now, DY was locked in by the Cold Feet. Didn't get far enough away, so they will trade out supports here. Ready to shake things up. If they actually get this Invis rune, it would be a nice start, but Crit actually spots it, trying to get out the cocks to push the oh, heroes away, back. and the e Invis is picked up by oh, EYW. Now it's going to be able to toss him back into the Ember Spirit, who already has a frost shield on top of his. Well, no chance of an imprisonment. VG Gaming have too many hero heroes here. Oh, Woods, and Crit is leading the charge. Yeah, it looks like they're going to try and flush him out here. Crit. Oh. His smoke is going to break, goes for the hook shot, actually lands on an Invis. Ember doesn't realize it. Sentry is going to be dropped. Yuris is able to get away. The toss up in the air by PYW. They're going to try and close that distance. Will manage to grab this tiny, but a chain foss going up may turn things around. It's Ramsey's already drop, dropping dangerously low. Is going to fall. They do manage to get the kill on PYW, but Crit now being slowed down by the flux. The spark rate in his way is going to be latched onto him, as well as the fall. Looks like he's going to be falling here. The imprisonment over to mid. Crit. That last spark rate is going to slow him down a little bit. If they hit him one more time, oh, that doesn't land. Another spark rate is up, but he jukes downwards. Can he somehow get out of here in that way? Maybe you don't even need the blink on that doom right away uh, because you have the song, so you have the setup. Top lane. Great. He's going to be caught here. Another rotation from Beachy Gaming with smoke. His 15 minute bounty runes are spawning. Figure it's a good opportunity to invade that jungle once again. All of these skills are really good for them. He's always on these saving Abaddons, Omni Knights, tanky beasts that also bring a lot of utility. And he's one of the reasons why they're patrol. Spotted him, gets off the Ice Blast, whatever damage he can. Actually, with that clumsy net, it'll make the Cold Feet land. That's a nice item for Rocket him. Rocket him. As soon as you get through that laning phase, which was a little awkward for VG Gaming, as soon as you hit that mid-game window, Here we go. Yeah, Ramsey's Jesus is nice. Toss back. Face. PYW into the Tier 1 tower. DY's going to be there. There is going to be a hook shot coming out, as well as an Ice Blast. Gets off the Chain Frost. They do him up. Ori and instantly take him out. They drop double ultimate Tier 1 mid-tower. Ramsey's picked up that BKB and he 
he literally said, come at me. He just stand, yeah. stood there and he baited. And PYW, well, he did just that. He blinked in, got Ramsey's in close range. They are going to be able to bounce back and it looks like pick off fly here as he's left behind. Yeah, but, but still, the tower gone and burn goes a long way. Artizzi? And how confident you feel for Artizzi? a team fight. Artizzi's a little bit too far out there, though. And no imprisonment either to be able to buy himself time here. He's just going to be caught to drive do? down. He was so far out. He... Ember Spirit is just Ember Spirit. You won't get away from him. Crit. Look at this. Ori. The big one. They do have the ice blast coming in. Lock him down underneath the cogs. Can crit do enough damage with the rocket player and a little bit extra? No, they're actually going to be able to stop that. The euphonic shield and Ori will survive turning, killing crit. He's just got too many stats at this point in the game. Damn, that's a, that was a good attempt. I can't blame him for that. It was carried in the end. Nice instant BKB there from Ramsey's preventing the toss. Top lane, fly. That's just an easy pick off. Smart. The Manta, Diffusal moving towards that butterfly, which will come in handy. The problem is you're playing versus Ember, who has Maelstrom, so... Jumping on RTZ, the Avalanche also hitting Ramses, preventing him from getting off a of Doom. He is going to try and just charge forward on the Ember Spirit, managed to get off there. The Imprisonment buying uh, RTZ a little bit of time. They're actually going to be able to get away from this one. The Ice Blast closing in. It's going to be a land on the Ember Spirit. The Sandy's going to drop, finish off PYW, and gets the kill on the Eurus. Three dead on the side of Ichi. Can invade the jungle. You know that you have crit always in the right position to catch Ori out. Oh, and he's going to find him here. The smoke's going to break. Trying to run him down. Hookshot leading off. He's going to be able to cox him backwards towards his team. He's going to try and run away to keep himself alive. Ori does have the BKB. He's going to have to turn and fight. Seeing to be killed. Maybe fly. Getting away. Yang is going to try and help him out. Phonic Shield. Miss Coil's not going to be good enough. EG find another big kill on Ori. Can they do a little bit more? No, they're actually going to TP away. Feeling like this is not the fight any longer. Yuris, his BKB cannot stop Abed from being able to TP out. A really clean Disengage from EG. Perfect playstyle by EG. The way they position Naga on mid lane to make VG think they're smoking behind her. Instead, they go and what I see right now is the difference between uh, Arteezy and Euros. I think Arteezy is doing way more with the items that he's got. Mid lane. Toss backwards onto Ramses. Good setup. He does have his BKB. He's going to turn around. Doom up the Ember Spirit. Trying to get the hook shot in. And Force Staff is going to be able to save yours for a little bit longer. But Ramses is going to stick on top of him. Trying to chase him down. Meanwhile, RTZ laying in his EY. Built up a lot of charges. Ramses still going for it. There's a shrine active as well. So Ramses is going to back away from that high ground. It's a good idea, too, because that would have been a great place for VP. The, the Talisman of Evasion, which will have his butterfly completed. I think you have to fight before that or somehow. Well, in position here. He does have the Aegis as well as the Song of Siren. They're going to hook shot a little bit lower. Uh, they actually managed to get into the back line, but PYW is being destroyed right now by Arteezy. Ori does manage to bring down this clockwork, but he already had to pop his BKB, meaning he's susceptible to Abed here. He's going to be ensnared up as the illusions get on top of him. Then they're going to feel this out. Yang, he pops his ultimate here as Arteezy trapped by the chains. VG game is just trying to get out at this point, but they're locked in. Oh, the gets dropped. Ori dropping lower and lower, and it looks like Yang is unable to save his carry one. Once again, Yuris does what he can with his BKB, but all he really can do is successfully retreat. They brought down the Aegis of Abed, sure, but now Yang, with no ultimate in sight, may get caught by Arteezy. Slow down, orb after orb, building up. Yuris in the back. Coming into the back line, PYW with his buyback, and trying to get the kill on the fly of all heroes, but a buy position is going to make a damn bit of difference. Look at Arteezy's hitting like a truck right now on Yuris. Saves himself with the imprisonment, but EG, they Stop. start backing away with a buyback coming out from Mori. They're not going to be able to save Arteezy. They just need to get out. Abed retreating still has the Song of Siren if needed. But are they going to go back? Go back they are. A buyback from Yang. EG, are you going to commit here? You're going to try really try this against an event. They're going to get off the Doom. But instantly, there is that event. Fortunately, it's here on yours. They get the kill on the Ember Spirit instead. Don't the Dark Warden, so there's no Magnetic Field or help from him, and go on the Eurus. Yeah, if you kill Dark Warden, he wouldn't have a buyback, but that's a really solid kill overall by them in the end anyways. But the way this fight Ori, you see the BKB is used on the clone, yeah. but not on the main one, but it was a lot of damage. Just anyway. turn around, the, the slight fist. Looks like he just wasn't able to uh, get any more remnants out. Not the main. Yep. Of course, he... Oh! The hook shot, the BKB, it's about to wear thin. He doesn't have any red blood. Yours is just dead, burned out of mana. Tell Excuse me, <laughs> someone saw that. Crank just went in. You can see that they're dominating the game at the moment completely. 
I'm gonna try and approach this. Do you need to get the hex off onto PYW? You're gonna be saved by the Aphonic Shield. He backs up the Medic. Medic Field also helping him. Ramsey's he's just gonna march forward, seeing if he finds somewhere that real Arc Warden, but he takes a lot of physical damage. He has to actually save by the imprisonment before he blinks himself away. That Tempest double doing a lot to keep EG back. They do manage to force a buyback. Oh, uh, DY and Ember wants to be able to find somebody here. It's going to be Ramsey's caught by the chains, but... Oh, they find region for him. Oh, that's going to help quite a bit. EG Gaming has to be super careful now. They don't know about this. They don't understand that EG is able to go back in. And that's the real Ori. They're going to be able to lock down. Great hook shot. And the Cox is out as well. He got off the BKB. But they're just going to stay on top of this Arc Warden. And Yang going to be in prison. So he can't even give any heals over to Ori. Or he's just going to be surrounded by so many. He's going to try and turn and kill Crit before he buys out. But you're, he's dead. He's dead no buyback. Yours is gone as well. Yang's going to be caught potentially. This Noxar looks to be able to chase him away. DY gets back to the high. Uh, EG is definitely aware of this. So they will continue pushing for at least an extra 40 seconds. However, Ember Spirit, he has no gold. He bought out. He went for the Lincolns. Which sadly for him, he didn't put in the inventory. They kill any more heroes. They might just be able to end it through the throne. They're going to be able to take out Yang. Looks like PYW forced away as well. Shackled up. RTZ 25 stacks for the Sandy's Eclipse right now, which he still has in the bank. One lane for Derex. 10 more seconds. I, I think this is one lane, perhaps bottom as well. If our Corden dies again, if he buybacks now and dies twice, the game is over though. They might just have to accept two BYW. lanes going down. BYW into the shrine. Oh, barely heals up just in time. It's two lanes to barracks for EG. They won't be able to get Megas because the tier two at top. Okay, so for Vichy Gaming, this is the trade-off. You just had a really bad team fight, but you didn't buy, buy back on the Arc Warden at least. Yes. 10 minutes into the game and decided not to. I think now it's a little bit too late. The assault begins on the tier 3 tower. VG Gaming, they need some sort of miracle here if they want to be able to hold against EG. An EG that has stomped them in the last three fights and is even stronger now thanks to some item upgrades. They've got the Aegis and Cheese as well. They just take down this clone. Uh, Ori, he has to be careful when he feeds that clone as instantly EG can go in and hit the tower a little bit. There's no magnetic field. Ice Blast coming in, it's Ramsey, makes the initiation, do manage to get off the BKB onto the Arc Warden. At the same time, the hookshot catches ZY Yang. He's going to be kind of caught here, Cox backwards in the borrowed time as well as the imprisonment. So he's going to be stuck outside of his fountain as he's brought back to life. He's quickly going to be killed. PYW calls and he has it. Game over. VG Gaming had no chance in that final push from EG. After getting that one pick off on the arc board and after that perfect regeneration So they are doing definitely kind of a, a death volley setup here where they need to hit this kind of timing at the 25-30 minute. They do scale well as well. I, I, I have no mercy. All right. I'll agree with that. If they get an essence ring on the side of Ichi Gaming, then we will not sympathize with them one bit. Been. But a skewer backwards on Ori to start things off. An early first blood attempt by EG, and it's successful. Five. Claim six. I like that uh, all that EG really needs to do was just get Ramses to level three, right? And yeah. then he can he can lane against the tri lane a lot more effectively. Exactly. Two levels in reactive armor and you're completely fine. Gonna try and catch Yang here, but he actually goes on the offensive with three sticky napalm stacks on a fly, plus the help of PYW. Gets out of flames and the skewer away to the right hand side. Yang, though, finishes him off with an auto attack and is now gonna be able to turn on to Arteezy as no well. Skewer. Building up with no skewer available for Arteezy. He's just gonna get run down. He does have nine magic wand charges. I think that's part of the reason Vici Gaming give up on that chase. Exactly. You see the sticks and you just give up on it, but you can see Ori on the top lane. Maybe we'll be forced to get net talks in a little bit earlier versus this lane but even once he does that it's so difficult wisp just left him he might die the stacks are gone on ramsey so he feels like he can finish off or and he does yang is now here with a fire flying but it's timber chain gets ramsey's a small this complete game right he can farm versus the brood mother right now he has that flat cannon to work with however very soon he will be pressured super hard by the brood mother <laughs> oh pyw 
Oh, it's a bit of a monster move. Kills both Crit and Arteezy's Courier on the way out to deliver regen. He only gets 70 gold mm -hmm. total, right? But it's still really good. You prevent them from having that pass. Crit playing behind them right now with two levels of the Splinter Blast. is setting up onto Ori, but it is into a Wisp. It's going to be hard to bring Ori down, but they do manage to skewer to break that tether, and Ori is so slowed. He can only play into the corner of the map here and try and get some damage out. PYW, another Splinter Blast landing on him, slowing him as well. DY pulled back by the Shockwave, enough for Fly to be able to bonk him twice to get the double kill. The easy double kill for Fly. He, his punches are really strong right now. The skewer from RTZ. Challenge him immediately and is going to continue to do so. Now yes, the ultimate medallion. on cooldown, the medallion, it just means that you're going to take so much damage from these spiders. He's going to be run down and finished off. Evade both going up and now PYW is going to be in trouble as well. Oh no. He tries to go for the TP, but it's going to be a tough one. He does manage to make it out. Vici game and this problem is going to become more and more apparent, especially if they lose their gyrocopter again due to another initiation. Crit starts it off with the slow zeros, tries to fight back with his ultimate, but with the helping hand of Ramsey, neutrals a defusal blade soon for Aben, it looks like. There are oh, oh, RP. We've seen this a lot from these carry Magnuses, just willing to use the RP on a simple support as soon as possible, just yeah. set up for them. Fry is really good at doing that. If he's playing some different style of a position 5, he sometimes goes and feeds just to give info or ward. Oh, oh, that is a winner's curse on top of Lasso. RTC still has the RP as well as the skewer. is going to try and get away. The flame break actually bumps him a little bit. Chakra. Stalling up that skewer. He tries to throw the RP out now, but he just knows he's certainly dead. Ramsey's meanwhile in the mid lane is able to kill Ori, but Chris it's going to be chased down here by Eurus as they cancel the relocate back. Well, this is what's happening on the top lane at the same time. Self, Fiji Gaming are trying to do the same at bottom, but first they have to get this trade protector the hell out of the lane. Batrider, usually a pretty good hero for finding him, but couldn't catch up there. They have the curse, now, but he's really could speed. Be caught the timber chain through. They do have the chakra to be able to slow down Yang just enough. The splinter blast comes through, and Ramses claims a kill. Only one who's uh, who really does it on each. I guess Abed likes to spam the hero lines. Yeah, you know, it's a trap. It's a trap. But <laughs> I feel like it's a lot of time it's for his own sake when he's having a rough game. Red, oh. oh, he got knocked backward by the play break into the lasso. Great hit by Yang. Oh, the winner's curse. That's not enough to save Ramsey. So Eurus is able to get that kill. And now the missile actually uh, shifts over onto the Winter Wyvern. They have to relocate onto the other side of the cliff. And so Crit is certainly going to be caught here. But oh, right to the spiders. So Yang, he does manage to get that kill on Crit for sure. But poor PYW got eaten alive. I mean, stopping uh, Ramses from mocking them the way he did before. It, they were like, come here, you little shit. Uh, yeah, I mean, talk about being a little shit. Yeah, fly. He's been so obnoxious in this bottom lane. He's going to try and go for a TP out, but the missile's going to be there. Good bounce by Yang into the missile just to make him than they did in that last match. Mm. Feels a lot more controlled for sure. Um. Spy able to keep their farm going. They're going to spot Yang. He's going to be able to jump forward on a fly. RTC still looking for telekinesis up, and they're going to make sure to take that blink dagger off a cooldown. Grab the free kill on the fly and back up to their high. I think DY is going to have a really hard game, but so far, I'm loving his positioning. He's maxing out that tether range most of the time whenever he thinks they're the relocate. a little bit close. Relocate up to the top lane. They have actually caught Crit here. Crit <laughs> waiting to turn around with the Winter's Curse. He has Sticky Napalm on him. It's going to be a little hard, so instead he just dies. Yang dropping a bit low. You just praise EY, and did you see that reload? It was miles away from crit. Yeah. <laughs> Usually <laughs> answer to the Broodmother, later on the Satanic is good answer to that RP initiation as well. PYW puts himself on the high ground there with the Arctic Burn and does manage to slow down the Ori. tree protector enough to be able to grab him, pulls him over to Ori and Ori will help him get the kill. Tree as yeah. well. He really likes that. The way he breaks up the fights is really good too. Just going to wait for a BKB to be used, like on that Chirocopter. See if he can counter it with his ultimate. Jump forward, crit. He's going to find DY here. A fresh tether is up, and he's going to be able to latch himself onto the Rubik in the back line. RTZ. RTZ. Thought he was getting a little bit close there, but got hit by a few orbs there from the Wiz. He's unable to blink forward. Yuri's going to be challenged. 
pushed away. Neither team blowing a big cooldown here. But now, Chubba Hard Bump Lion's gonna be able to get the Overgrowth to lead things off. Getting two heroes, but at the same time, a stolen Overgrowth. And now, Alasso onto Magnus, who's gonna be pulled over to the side. Skewer over, he's gonna try and target DY immediately with the help of the Brood Mother. Oh, he's gonna get onto two, but Ori's not quite in it. He's trying to help get the damage onto Magnus. He needs a little bit more on top of the Nether Toxin. Yuris has survived through it all as well. Magnus, he still falls, and now it's up to Abed to try and finish off Yuris instead, but he can't do it. He's gonna try and TP away. A disaster for evil geniuses as they thought they could could get the gyrocopter they thought they could follow Abed that they didn't have any more disables to kill him off too. While we were watching that, uh, Vichy Gaming did manage to take the Roshan PYW, Telekinesis on the Magnus with the Trocrum that he stole as well. Arteezy is already taking a lot of damage here and is going to be skewered back skewered to okay. PYW. Beautiful play into a lasso as well just to ensure the... Rotate across the map a little bit faster. I think if you're EG you should... Oh, great, gonna be great grabbed here. Winter's curse is up, that's why DY separates himself from Eurus, just in case. Broodmother, uh, recently Broodmother was built around the Spiderlings later on. You take the talents for spiders. Oh, oh he's three, Arteezy, he found a huge warning into the Whirling Dead, and they just wipe out three of them. Eurus is gonna come back on his second life, and his BKB, but can he actually get out? He's gonna be overgrown, locked in place, and too much physical damage. What a they found and that's what they needed to do. They needed to find Wisp. Possibly the best react the reactionary hero on the side of EG besides the Treant. So if you manage to catch him like he did. There he is. Grabs the Winter Wyvern, pulls him into Eurus. Eurus with all that magic damage quickly bursts him down. Orchid Rush. But Yank has been fantastic when it comes to getting on top of him and picking him off before mm -hmm. the fight even stop starts. Not a right click build. Ramses just kind of showing himself on the front lines and the rest of the team is going to try and find an entrance in this high ground. They're going to be able to, with the spider leg, spot the two of them together. Can he actually bring down the other time? They do. They can down into low ground as well. You're just going to be stuck. Bank keep me activated. They do have the IO coming back in. Tethers up. He up. Look at that. He Yuris back to full health. The overgrowth going out. Stolen by the Rubik. He's going to be able to keep these heroes in place. But a Winter's Curse intercepts. He does manage to get off the Ghost Scepter though. So he's not taking too much damage. It relocates them out of there. But Yang, he's been Found his initiation onto the bird metal. Looks like Ori's able to do enough damage. Timber saw. Timber chaining on through everybody, but the call on the brace onto Arteezy has left him stuck. And Yang plants himself right in front of the charging rhinoceros. Vici Gaming, just a buyback for them. What a team fight, man. EG looks so great for them the way they set that up. The fact they're kit, and they do have the tree and protector, so taking down the steel tree will be significantly harder than yeah. before. And then that's probably why RTZ is in round, right? He's saying, like, team, you, you just hold for a while. They're not going to try, sure, but VG Gaming, they're going to come in here, almost finishing off the tier three, and they do. Thanks in part of that double damage. EG don't want to fight into that DD, so they're trying to assault the mid lane, force VG Gaming back. And they Without Yang, probably not going to happen. He won't just use that lasso, but... Oh, there you go. They get it. They're a little bit separated right now. They're going to try and go into yours. Pull back with a shot. Wait, meanwhile, Ramsey is trying to identify the way. The Aegis has gone out and the Aegis has expired. They have a sight on yours. Winter Scars landing onto DY. They're going to try and focus him down. Surrounding him real quickly. Tethers over the side. He still has that cheese as well as the Essence Ring. They're just not doing enough damage fast enough. They're trying to skew our break. And once again, he tries to go off the RP. BKB activated inset. Holding on to that RP. DY is still alive through all this one. Meanwhile, Ori's hiding the damage. Finally, he dies. But Breerus, he He's still quite healthy and he's turning into the damage onto the Magnus. Rams are gonna fall as well. Evil geniuses are just getting wiped in the face. Two heroes. That's just... He wants to save gold for that nullifier. He understands that it's their win condition, but mm -hmm. he's gonna have to buy back or they'll lose perhaps even all their sights here. What a godly fight for T.Y. What a godly wisp, man. What are yeah. you talking about? They were trying to kill that wisp for 30 seconds at least, and they couldn't. Yeah. In the end, he does fall, but Broodmother dies at the same time. I mean, they just completely run out of damage by the time they finally bring down T.Y. Nether Toxin. Silences, that's huge. Yeah. Ooh, the talents on Wiper are one of the best, probably, the, the things that he can go for. This silence is going to be really, really important. Timbersaw doesn't really have any way can help you. 
VG Gaming has done an amazing job in spacing for these team fights. Never really out of position for big last moments, one. but the Shadow Blade on a crit may find a better opportunity. Looks like Yang used the is last one on the Illusionist Cape, and this may be an opportunity for EG. Ramses get himself a little bit stuck, but that's a double damage yours. I don't know if EG wants to fight into that. So they did manage to bait that uh, lasso out, but yep. they don't have any follow-up. They can't make anything work afterwards. That double damage, double damage on the ground. Uh, Going to be picked up by Yang. So they have to. All right. Ramsey's still positioning himself out here. The spiders quickly wiped out. Ramsey's going to be forced away here. Lotus Orb activated. Crit. Crit getting a little bit close. He does have a Shadow Blade, but he won't get the chance to use it. Telekinesis catches him. Crit way out of position. Now Ramsey's, Ramsey's going to be left alone. Arcee's to the rescue, but he can't do a damn thing. He'll what that game. Game. That's not going to do they shit. Call it. Evil geniuses, they know they are completely outplayed in this game. You don't bend the wisp, you lose to a wisp. We've seen it happen so many times in a row, and it happens once again. It's her. Evil genius. And I look at Vichy's and they just have so many different ways to start fights, to pick and choose if they want to, just disengage as well. The Wyvern could just, hey, you know, so good at this mid lane puck. I don't, I don't think it's necessarily the puck. I haven't seen him play the puck way too many times, but the way he plays overall fills me with confidence that he's going to be able to Exciting. have a nice puck game too. But now playing a lot of people, but DY in some trouble here. Evil geniuses will get the first blood on their favorite child of art. But you want to have Ramsey's as tanky as possible mid lane. Oh, I bet. He would have lost that 1v1, but Ori doesn't stick around for it because Crit was making his way. You can always have... Scorched Earth or uh, Devour Abed. About that time for a Storm Spirit. Oh, well, it wasn't well, the time to die. We'll see what he does as he revives. Um, I always respect Storm in the current state of the game because you can create a lot of space and be the playmaker. Also, you scale really well. Versus these key heroes on the side of Vichy Gaming, you will need that gap closing ability in your ball lightning just to get on top of the Wyvern the way Yang did it in that last match. Level of Infernal Blade, that's because they do have Ori coming over with the coil. They quickly kill RTZ, and now that they've slowed down flying as well, they should be able to chase him down. Fly turns around, tries to get some damage out of Yang before it falls. On the top lane, they're chasing Ramses. Skewered forward, the Aphonic Shield will hold for now. It breaks, but they're running out of damage. They need to be able to get another hit from Eurus, but Yang, or Ramses rather, got a little stuck in the trees. So you have to be careful about that. I think this isn't an easy void game. I think. No. No, fuck, however. Okay, Kronos here into the mid lane to be able to bring down Ori. Certainly a squishier hero to be sure. DY was almost there with the Cataplay, but now he may be a secondary kill as the magic damage of the Storm Spirit is just enough. They do have the toss, but Arteezy is taking damage from this Doom. Now that they have the Scorched Earth, it's going to be even easier to bring him down. Crit, Crit. Unable to do anything there. He tried to go for a deny, but... Uh, he was lucky that Eurus uh, missed the Shockwave there. The trees here. Storm is rotating in. Evil geniuses trying to make a big move. Eurus, he's a little bit low on mana and is going to be scared into a potential silence as yet. Ramses is going to be able to get that stack off, hold, held in place, and Eurus is just going to fall. No opportunity to be able to get off the RP. Now the uh, avalanche slowed down DY enough that Abed's going to be able to catch up to him into the tree stake. No. I'm actually surprised that they gave up on the Magnus and the Wyvern the way they did here. Yeah. We, we see these towards Yang. He has ice armor though. And the outpost yeah. is his. They're waiting the They're gonna have to use the ice blast here. And with the help of Aubin, this will be a much easier kill. Right, Adding in some magic damage again. Problem. A bad and always being a hard counter to that ultimate. Yeah, they're, they're so careful with their movement. Stop playing storm. Gonna find the pickoff here on PYW. Runs him over. Dominating streak already for Abed. Back over to bottom lane. Ramses. Copping some damage here. He's holding on to his ultimate so he can level that up if he feels like he's in real danger. But it won't be so core to Eurus. Because then he's just gonna be able to kind of run at evil geniuses. And for the most part, a lot of magic damage curse. on their side for now. They do have the Winter's Curse into. Okay, they do have a lot of damage coming into this Doom. Can they finish them off in time though? Yang still protected by the Cold Embrace, but it's not good enough. A little bit too much magic damage. Coil, but with Ramses on the front line here, the Coil now broken. Abed, he's gonna be able to pull a lot of these heroes back. So Taking much. off both of these supports instantly. Evil geniuses now push forward as Ori slowed down by the Tabulation. They're gonna be able to get the RP on. 
one to one, but the up body shield waking up Arteezy. Can he get a time walk off? Take it off the stairs. No, he's gonna be doomed by Yang. Pull back into his doom. But Abed gets the kill onto the mag. The answer is still winning this fight even after the buybacks to toss over there. Oh, poor fly. Crit. He just he just sacrificed fly for the, the good of the rest of EG. Because of that, he was able to zip through the chrono twice. And as he has that auto attack on, he's able to hit the doom while he's doing that. Uh -huh. Dishes out a ton of damage. Arteezy does get the kill in the end, but then he's able to also go into back lines on these two supports. Yeah, and he's actually this. unstoppable. I think that's what I really liked about the abandoned pickup. A counter to Doom, but also a good counter to the mag. They're going to be able to get the toss back here. PYW in range of the abandoned jump forward by Abed. Telekinesis is actually stunning him. A Winter's Curse controlling these heroes in the AoE, but do they have the right kind of follow-up? Crit still positioning himself to try and bring down PYW. Tosses the mag over into him with the avalanche onto the two cores. Ramsey is, is stuck, though. Without his part of time, he's going to be in serious trouble. Chased down by Uris, activating his BKB to finish off the opposing. EG pushed down as the 20-minute runes and outposts. Good word. They, they, smoked they, up. they can actually catch somebody. They're going to be able to find Yang here, pushing him in with the ice blast on top of a chronosphere. That was a lot, but it definitely ensured. The versus Void versus Storm. The back line of an ancient apparition die very quickly as well. Thank but, uh... Maybe in part because the Abaddon and all the sustain he provides. Crit going to toss DY away so he can try and get into the trees and TP out. But Ori finds him with the coil. And now Crit will be falling here. The Ice Blast to toss over onto DY. Does he get the kill? A toss and avalanche a little bit more. But he's just barely are ready right now. Do you want to go near the mid lane? Ramses, he's been planting himself here. Okay, with a skewer back, they're going to try and bring him down twice, basically. Ramses has his ultimate, buys him a little bit of time. Evil Geniuses, they are all running over here, and they may be able grouped up for an RP that sure enough. There's Chronosphere with the Ice Blast on it, too. And look at Albin jumping straight to the back line, grabbing it with the Wyvern. They still manage to get out the RP, and that's going to be Ramses dead, but RT's a little bit too tanky for yours. Yours trying to retreat with a remnant of his BKB, but Albin chasing him down, slowing him just bit by bit, running low on mana, but it doesn't matter. Yours has been caught by the net. Richie Gaming, they take well what happens last time, so I think the plan should be to ignore him and switch to the back. Well, the Winter's Curse on crit. This could be a free pick off here as he's going to remain chain stunned. Really, really well played by DY. Uh, if EG is impatient enough, they may lose this opportunity. There's one ward that's completely... Hey, they found the initiation onto the Faceless Void. A massive kill. They can get it to Telekinesis to prevent the from being able to help out. Artur, but he actually managed to get up the side. Oh. The RP now coming in. Abed going to be able to lock down the two in the back line, but Artur does fall. The two supports wiped out real quickly as Ramses helps bring them down. But yours being peppered by Ramses. Managed to get the silence up on him while they leave. They're going to TP away. Tossed up. Up high down hard for Uris as he's going to be brought down with no buyback. PYW, a triple kill for Abed at the end of all that. Well, Yang going to be chased down as well. Abed out of mana, but just enough to catch Yang and potentially get the ultra kill. Oh, what a silence! He got the Orchid off onto Ori. Ori comes back and he just feeds away. Yeah, he did get doomed, but he bought enough time for Abed to jump into the back lines. At first you said these two supports are instantly dead. It wasn't the supports, it was the puck. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. But he looks like a support once you get on top of him. He's so squishy. And Storm Spirit makes him look like nothing once he's locked down. Looks like the melee racks. Oh, they may have just done another opening grab. Both the supports now with the Ice Blast coming in hot. BYW and D1. The chrono. They're just gone. Winter's Curse on to, okay, that's a nice stun set up here, but at the end of the day, well, Ramses actually does have his ultimate, so he is going to be falling here. The Euphonic Shield can only buy him so much time as PYW brings him down with the rest. Until the RP is back up, but Roshan is falling so fast, somebody's got to get inside the pit and stop this right now. But there is going to be crit. Look at him. Just running in to make sure they can finish off Roshan freely. And now Beachy King has to retreat. But Abed, he knows that whoever he grabs at this point in time could be victim to dying with no buyback. That's why he's just running headlong in. Same goes with Arteezy right now. As he does have the Chronosphere up. Can even now give him a Solar Crest. As Ramses completes that. And they're just going to let Arteezy push onto the high ground. Almost by himself, Ramsey's going to hit the range barracks, so he's a little bit separated from our tour. Wants to make sure they don't get caught in a big winner's curse or, or a some big RP. Right? Yeah. 
skewer back would be well, make this fight a little bit harder. Yuris forced to blink away from Artur. He isn't really interested in heroes at the moment. He's just no. taking down objectives. Skewer Missed back. Skewer back onto the tier four. Tried to chain it with the centaur sun. Misses and Artizi turns around. Goes for the corner tier with the ice blast. The call the brace is going to be able to save that damage. And look at that. PYW throws the corner tier right back in their face. Locking down three of them. Hopin. Oh, the winter's curse. It caught up and Rice. He jumped in. They're going to be able to get the doom on the Ramsey's. Hopin successfully jumps himself away. But they do manage to get the ultimate off onto the abandoned. Maybe that wasn't locked down. Gaming is taking them out. They have a buyback on the Euros inside of the pit. Or what? What are you TNT? doing there? Can he actually get out to the end? He disables off end. They need to be able to bail out RTZ right now off end. Losing all of his mana, but RTZ does manage to get outside of the fountain here. Three dead on the side of BG Gaming. That is that is it. GG Gaming. They call it. Call it here. Evil geniuses. They get their revenge against BG Gaming here in the lower bracket. And they're heading to the grand final. The last hope of NA.